is in lezing voor de tweede, voor de second um, quarter of 2018. Okay, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is going to be extremely wonderful because what is happening is that there are a lot of changes that are happening. Um, the squatter is going to begin from um, um, the squatter is going to begin from April, May, and June. April, May, and June. So this is going to be extremely, extremely wonderful. Um, it's a good period for you, Aries, because it's the fire period. And when we have the energies of the fire period what is going to happen is that you are going to be having a lot of support in this period so a lot of support is coming in for you Aries for this period and it's going to be wonderful so um, I'm trying to get these out um, okay I want to thank you Aries um, for your support okay oh, there's so much going on hmm? okay let's look at your period okay um, it's the energy of the chariot says so a wonderful period it's movement this whatever you have to do with your car um, refinance that sort of a thing it's gonna be good it's gonna be positive so go for it you Aries you have an earth energy and this is good a lot of you are going to be working out situations with organization and this sort of a thing and it's gonna be wonderful actually so not to worry because um, there is another earth energy that is coming in in April this is going to be wonderful because this is the energy of um, this is the energy of um, temperance and this is wonderful so whatever is happening whatever is transpiring it's gonna be um, positive you have the energy of your own energy vibration and this is good um, this is so good because um, there is a lot of supported energies that is coming in for you Aries so this is gonna be wonderful um, um, this is um, positive and uh, this can be also in a sense of um, not only for you guys but for also for Leo people that will be coming in to help you in the month of uh, May it's a good month um, June is going to be a fabulous month for you guys because you have the energy of the world so you're finishing a situation with some group of people and you're moving on and this is going to be wonderful and positive because what you will be seeing here is that these wonderful energies are going to carry um, positive situation into your life and this is going to be good so um, not to worry about this because it's going to be um, the end the outcomes is going to be um, positive okay so let's look and see what is going to be transpiring because we have temperance the devil and the world so um, what is happening is that you need to have balance in a lot of situations in your life and with the energy of um, the ego coming up and the energy of the world it's going to be ending you're going to be ending the energies of your ego based feeling and that sort of a thing and um, you're going to be um, trans um, transpiring because um, the energy of um, the ego based feelings that are coming up um, you need to balance that how to work with other people okay then you have uh, um, the knight of cups and the knight of cups is going to be someone between the ages of 18 and 45 and this is going to be good it could be 18 and 40 but um, some people energies or earth energies are like um, in the sense of 18 and 45 so whatever is happening you have to have balance with this night um, it could be your son um, it could uh, be um, your partner and it could be your son so um, whatever is happening to this um, night of cups you need to be 
very balanced with this person because this person is coming from an ego base okay this person is really coming from an ego base we're going to look at that then we have the last two weeks of May to the beginning of June you have the nine of swords so you have a little worries coming in at the end of May and the beginning of June we have the Knight of Swords, and the Knight, the Nine of Swords, is always um, worries. You have a lot of worries going on about um, ego-based situation, and that that worries that you have to deal with is with the Knight of Cups. And this person could be. I'm feeling that this person is in Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion for some people. Um, the scorpion energies are really out because you guys don't work that well with a scorpion and then the outcomes of your quarter is going to be the two of swords you're seeing a situation very very clearly whatever that has been transpiring whatever that has been happening you're seeing this situation very very clearly so um, what is happening is that um, you had a conflict in situation and this has to do with someone um, who was um, your son your partner or that sort of a thing and what is happening is that um, um, you're seeing the situation very clearly because this person is being um, very egoistic and um, the energy from the scorpion is coming in the scorpion can be like that um, in other words the um, the Pisces are so much different than the scorpion a uh, Pisces are the nicest energies of the water sign um, the scorpions are really can be very brutal and um, some of you could be dealing with your son who is like this because this is a much younger energy coming in and this is um, very hard for some of you because um, what is transpiring is that this person or this child is being so um, arrogant um, and this is not your sort of an energy base so um, we're going to look and see what exactly has transpired and why is this person um, behaving like this because obviously they have been caught or you're or you have caught them and and they did something and uh, it's as if they're saying or they're thinking you know I have the right to do it that sort of a thing you know it's as if you know um, I have the right to do it that 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 sort of a thing so it's like a scorpion person is going to get back at you for something that you don't don't even know um, what is happening and this person is trying to get back to you um, the best way and this is why the energy of um, um, temperance come in the best way to deal with the situation is just to kind of have some balance with this person so let's look and see what is the energies between April and May you're seeing a situation very clearly um, by you um, taking time to balance out and looking at a situation you're seeing the situation very clearly now what exactly has happened and what exactly has transpired and you are acknowledging this and you're thinking okay now I'm seeing what has transpired and now I'm going to make a, a move okay um, so you're seeing clearly because it's as if a mother saw a situation with her child and um, it could be with your partner okay it could be that you're in a relationship with someone who's much younger than you are let's see what is happening the end of May to the beginning of June you're going to be victorious and triumphant over this so this is going to be extremely positive because there's a victory that is coming in for you um, and this victory is going to be a very positive one because you're seeing now what has transpired and uh, you're going to be victorious over this uh, you know you're going to be like um, okay I see why you did this you know and I am not agreeing with it because you have no right to do this but okay um, I'm going to forgive you for this and move on 
there is a wonderful energy that is going to come in for you guys in the month of June so you Aries are you know look out because good things are going to be happening and I'm seeing that you guys are going to go on a, um, um, uh, a positive journey you're going to be moving forward in a positive way because I'm seeing that you're leaving the ego behind and you're accepting um, the the the, the the positive energy of you finding your true light and leaving the ego behind and this is good because you're seen as if um, you have dealt with a situation in um, in a sort of a way that you wish um, um, it's not that you dealt with it wrongly it is um, as if you are now um, realizing what has transpired so let's see what is going to happen between you and the night uh, you're going to move away you're having temperance and balance and you're going to move away from this night of cups um, because this night of cups is um, working on an ego based energy and you're going to decide I'm, I'm 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 going to leave you in your own um, little world for whatever you have done and you think that it was justified and it was good i'm going to leave you in your own little world you will you will um, see the message you will connect to your own self for what you have done so you're going to leave whoever this is and I'm feeling a scorpion because a scorpion or a cancer that's how they are and you're leaving them behind you find um, that whatever it has transpired was very cruel it was a cruel hack that this person has done to you it was something that was um, very devastating it was a cruel act um, towards um, what this person have done to you but you know you're looking at it and you're thinking you know um, today for me tomorrow is going to be for you so you're you're leaving this you're leaving this and you're thinking you know today for me but tomorrow is for you and trust me um, this is going to come back to this person and they're going to be coming back to you to say you know I'm sorry and uh, um, I wish I didn't do it and that sort of a thing but um, let them be in their own um, little way the outcomes you have um, um, a shift in the family which is the ten um, of Pentacles in reverse a shift within the family and this is good because um, whatever the situation is you're leaving it behind because you feel um, it is not even that you feel is is that you know you know that whatever has transpired it is just and and this, it, it's, it's just very bad so the family you're going to leave this period being victorious but the energies of the family is going to be in array um, because of what this person has done you decided I will forgive you but I won't forget and I'm leaving you um, in your own um, little ways okay um, so it's, it's, it's kind of hard and sad when you see things like these happen because what is happening um, you guys have the number nine energies okay um, it's very sad because of what happened but yet still you need to forgive forgive whatever that has transpired here because um, June is going to become a very 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 good month for you June is going to be an excellent month it's as if things start to happen for you in a magical way and uh, money is going to be coming at you because I see here the ten of Pentacles and you have also the ten of Pentacles so you have nine and ten in your energies the ten of Pentacles is here and I love this card deck and why I do it has an old sense of riches but in the woods and whenever um, um, money is like between trees and that sort of a thing it's going to be money that is going to last for a very long time I'm seeing that um, a lot of you I'm seeing that a lot of you are going to decide you know um, if this is the way you choose to be I'm leaving you at it and success with your life and you have the energy of romantic love coming in so um, a lot of wonderful energies are going to be coming in for a lot of you um, in the romance area frequency of um, romantic love um, support our journey to 
feel all and complete through the experience wit and the reflection of conscious lovers okay so um, love is going to be coming in a romantic love is going to come in come in for a lot of you Aries whatever is transpiring a lot of you Aries are going to be having this wonderful romantic love that is coming in and what I'm seeing here also is that um, for some people there was something that was very dishonest that had happened to you but you are going to be very victorious in the month of June and very victorious and the cruelty of what has transpired it has to do with something to deal with your family people in your family it is it was um, cruelty um, there was a cruelty that happened because you have the double um, the double nine nine of swords on each other so um, what this is saying and what this is letting you know is that this cruelty that has been done to you you're seeing the situation clearly now and whatever the situation is with a family this situation you're going to be walking away from because it is something that um, that a family member has done to you and you have realized what they have done okay you have the energy of Mother Mary. I love this energy of Mother Mary. And it said, the wondrous universe um, uh, of Mother Mary, I frequency. Um, and you know, wear Mother Mary's mantle of love. So call upon Mother Mary. I now invoke Mother Mary to place her mantle of love to enfold others in it. So enfold the person who have done you injustice in the energies of Mother Mary sorry blue mental coat and mother mary suggests that you open your heart and offer everyone who touches your part um with a high energy vibration then she will grace you with peace and place her um uh aquamarine uh, mantle in your aura okay so ask mother mary in this portal to place um the aquamarine a mantle of love um, to enfold you in this quarter as things move on and things move by okay all right I'm gonna look and ask if there's any more messages that want to come out um, for some people out there I've changed up um, the energy of the reading so we're going to ask um, if there's any more messages for anyone out there um, whoever you're dealing with um, whoever you're dealing with okay um, a lot of you are dealing with some situations and um, who, um, uh, what I'm seeing here is um, whoever you are dealing with situations out there um, the energy of the Pentacles the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse the Queen um, the Princess of Pentacles is in reverse the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse all these people are in the reverse form whoever they are they are all in the reverse form at this moment so whatever is transpiring um, for some of you who are uh, dealing with um, for some of you who are dealing with uh, um, the Queen of Pentacles who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn for some of you who are dealing with um, the Queen of Cups who is a Pisces Cancer or um, Scorpion this energy is all in the reverse form whatever that is happening um, these energies are just so in the reverse form there is a situation that is transpiring there um, the energies are all in the reverse form so whatever um, that has uh, transpired and what uh, whatever that has happened um, these energies of these people so if you have these people to deal with their energies are all in the reverse form so whatever that has transpired um, they're all in the reverse form <clears throat> Um, so here we are if you're having a relationship with the princess of Pentacles she's in a reverse form okay 
it's as if she doesn't want to really um, deal with you um, for um, also um, um, for the people who are dealing with um, the um, <laughs> um, uh, Pisces cancer scorpion they're also in the reverse form and it has something to do with um, connection it's as if you know these people whatever way and and ever what whatever um, they all in the reverse form against you so it's as if they really do not want to have anything to do with you okay so if there was um, a situation um, they are all in the reverse form let's look at love um, for you ladies over the age of 40 let's look at love and see what love is coming out for the ladies over the age of 40 where is conflicts in your relationship uh, ladies over 40 um, you are um, in like you're waiting on new love okay so most of the ladies over 40 um, there is a conflict in your relationship and it's as if you're thinking to move on and look for new love okay and maybe this is good sometimes you know you're in a relationship for too long and sometimes it's just better let's look at the man who the Aries man for the second quarter what is happening for the Aries man for the second quarter Aries man second quarter in love Aries man second quarter in love Aries man second quarter in love um, for the Aries man for the second quarter in love you have um, you're looking for inner strength to deal with your relationship because um, you're trying to protect yourself because you do, you, you want to walk away from this relationship and look for something else so for you Aries man you're trying to find inner strength and protect yourself in your relationship because you're thinking about moving on moving on you're thinking about there are um, different people or different uh, um, um, situations that I want to get involved with and uh, um, you're looking for love and especially if you're in a relationship with a Virgo you want to leave this relationship and protect yourself and move away okay Um, if we um, look forward um, we are looking for the people between the ages I don't know I keep on having a hair in my face people between the ages of 18 people between the ages of 18 and 40 to see what love energies are coming up for them good news is on its way so a lot of you are going to be coupled up good news after um, conflicts you're seeing a situation for what it is and uh, you have the energy um, some of you who are in a relationship um, good news is going to come um, wonderful positive news after um, um, a situation where um, you have the eight of swords where you weren't seeing things um, clearly about this person so some of you who are some of you who are dealing with the um, um, Aquarians Gemini or Libra um, you are going to be um, leaving this situation because um, the spirit is coming at you with so many horrible things to say so you're going to walk away from the situation and then good news is going to come for the rest of you who are in a relationship it's going to be a wonderful nice stable relationship good news positive energies is going to come out for you guys so it is going to be good it's going to be very good okay alrighty so that was the end of your readings please like share these videos namaste until next time